Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So I've been, I've been, uh, Mining up this stuff, the shroom lights and the, the wart stuff and putting most of it into my little composter here, making bone meal so I can grow more of it. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's a pretty bone meal positive process. The wart blocks definitely seem to have very little use. They could be decorative, but how many of these things do you actually need? Uh, so they, they make good compost. But I said something kind of dumb last time. And uh, I want to, I think it was dumb. So let's, uh, let's just test it out. Uh, I haven't actually done it myself, but I'm pretty sure that I was wrong. Sorry, this gets a little hypnotic just going through and chopping down all these bits and pieces of giant fungi the warped fungi i need to go back into the nether find some of the crimson stuff um and there we go come more shroom lights so i have a few stacks of shroom lights this could work it's kind of a nice little zen activity and doesn't take much bone meal just takes a little time but it's a nice little it's a nice little pleasant thing um, and then as I said I come here and I sure oh throw the uh, the wart blocks in here and it turns into bone meal. but this stuff I think I said oh I wish it behaved more like wood and guess what it does you can make planks out of it and the planks you can make into slabs. And you can make into pressure plates. And you can make into, I think, like this, right? Yeah, trap doors. And you can make into stairs. So. You can make all this stuff. Let's let's get a couple more of these. Now, you can even make chests out of it and barrels. Um, you can make sticks out of it. So this stuff is interesting. So the hyphae, I think that's how you pronounce it. And you can get, you can do it two different ways. You can get it. No, it's the planks. So you can get it a couple different ways, I think. Oh, you can make doors as well. Um, and buttons. So you can do all the stuff. You can you can make most of the wood stuff with it. Um, now this this hyphae stuff is interesting. So it takes four of the stems to make three of these. And it has the the warped texture on all sides. So it's a nice little decorative block. No, I guess the axe is still the preferred tool for that. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, oh, I didn't. No, no. Oh, you know what? Takes, oh, yeah, it takes four to make three. Oh, I've still got some more of the stems here. So you can also place down the stems. And I think... No, how, oops, ah, that's it. You right click on them with the ax and you get this stripped variant, just like wood, right? And then you can take four of those and make to this warped,
stripped hyphae, which I, I don't know. Again, it takes four of them to make three. So this is like just the stripped texture without um, without any of the sides. So that's, that's a nice little almost turquoise-ish sort of block. So there are a lot of variations. There's a lot of variants you can make with these. So the stems go there. So, so I've been playing around with these in creative. Um, it's an interesting, I got more of the stems there. Uh, so there's a lot of different things you can make with it. So I have some plans with that. Uh, and I think it's not a bad compliment to other other blocks. So I think they did a pretty decent job uh, implementing that. It's definitely kind of a weird sort of thing. Um, there are some things you cannot do with it. Like you, no matter what you want, I don't think you can use it. Unless you turn it into sticks. But I don't think you can use the planks as fuel, right? So I don't think I can make charcoal out of it. All right, so if I take the stem, I can't smelt it into charcoal. Um, do I have something here that I know I can smelt? Oh yeah, of course. I've got a ton of stuff here, like here. I can smelt. Oh, yeah. I, I need. I need all the the gold I can get. So, so if I do this, I can't even put the planks in there. Um. So I, I assume if I turn it into sticks, I can use that as fuel. That's a little weird, in my opinion. So it would be nice if it, it, that kind of stuff. I think I tried that and then it didn't work. So I'm like, oh, well, it doesn't behave like wood at all. It was an assumption on my part and it was incorrect. Um, oh, warp block does not belong in there. So, bloop. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's very interesting. I also put in, I think I mentioned I was going to do this, I put in a row of dispensers here to wipe out some of the vegetation, which also can go into the composter. Uh, it's not it's not difficult to run around with uh, even your hand and wipe it out by hand. But since I get plenty of bone meal out of the process, and I have plenty of bone meal anyway, uh, it's, it's, it's a cheap way of getting additional stuff that can either be used as decoration in on this stuff or to get more bone meal so it's like free bone meal where i don't have to travel to the skeleton farm to get it well, i have to go to the skeleton farm in order to get uh to repair my tools anyway so it's kind of a non it's kind of six of one half dozen of the other but that's uh that's where we're at Oops. And so anyway, uh, I'm not going to spend a ton of time working on this. It's just, as I said, it's kind of a fun activity. And now I have more incentive to collect more of the worked stems and more incentive to go back into the nether to find a crimson forest. Which there's probably one not too far away. And now that I've got a reasonable supply of, uh, and now I have elytra, and I think a reasonable supply of ender pearls, or can get a reasonable supply of ender pearls if I don't kill myself in the process, um, then I should be able to navigate and explore the Nether a little bit more, more reliably. Uh, than I have been able to before. So I'm not going to linger on this. Um, and I also realize I've dug out one chunk here, 
two chunk here, three chunk, four chunk, and I'm working on a fifth chunk. And it's painful, I mean, relatively speaking, going up here. I had some I had some interesting challenges on this chunk because I ran into a big old lake of lava. Uh, I think it's on the edge of this chunk here. So I had to dig my way up and work my way down. I got a lot of obsidian out of it, which is nice because obsidian's useful. And I threw that obsidian, the obsidian right here. I got a bunch of obsidian out of it. So that's nice. It's good. And then, um, so I'm, I'm sort of alternating between harvesting the shroom lights and now the warp stems, which I'm thinking may spend more time bone mealing to get the flowers. You can plant these things really close to one another, right, right next to each other. And that might make a better, that'll emphasize, like here, these two were right next to each other. That'll emphasize the, um, the, maximize this, the warp stems a little bit more than the, uh, <clears throat> than the shroom lights. And I think the shroom lights are going to be useful long term. They're nice and bright looking compared to, say, glowstone. Um, I don't know if you can use it in the same way you can use glowstone, like behind uh, item frames. It'll be worth experimenting with. That'll be, yeah. Um, but regardless, it's a nice, very bright, warm looking light as opposed to some of the others that you can get. Sea lanterns are very cool. They're very uh, bluish, which makes sense. They're from the water, they're from the ocean. Um, uh, glowstone is is also on on the uh, the cooler side, so I do like how warm the shroom lights look. And I think the the crimson the crimson four shroom lights are the same color, the same texture. So that's fine. So this makes this a little less tedious, knowing that all of this stuff, the wood and the shroom lights, are all useful. And the nether warp block just gets me more of it, because it's free bone meal. So I could just grow a bunch of the, the fungus, plant them in a pack together, and uh, go harvest all at the same time. Um, and maximizing the wood because I do have, as I said, plants. So we will we'll see. Anyway, so that fifth chunk down there that I'm working on now, that's the last one that the beacon will reach to completely. If I go into the next chunk over, the beacon runs out. Which means to continue that direction, I either have to get a new beacon or build a uh, or move it so I think it's a worthwhile thing to go spend some time in the nether at the nether fortress farming up uh, wither skulls and getting more beacons because beacons are good um, and I don't want to move that beacon until I dig out to the side a little bit and expand the, the scope so I get this thing out to a you know 25 by 25 sort of thing with a single beacon. And uh, I think that should be a goal. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get some more of this stuff and finish digging out that fifth chunk, which you don't need to see because it's it's tedious and boring. It's a nice thing to do while the TV's on. It's a lot of work. Um, and then, and then I think I will start excavating out to the sides here, just to see what's there and how far I can take that. 
um, before I run out of Mushroom Island, I think. I think I can go pretty far. We're at kind of the edge of the island here, and this just happens to be, if I go very far that way, I run into <clears throat> warm ocean because we essentially exit the island. So that's uh, that's what's going on here. That will be another some of that. So as I said, I have plans. Um, I was kind of hoping to get to them today, but I don't think I have time for it. Um, been a little busy, and I'm still, frankly, tired from the COVID. Um, still feeling the fatigue. Completely over symptoms. I'm testing negative, uh, but it, I'll get in just into the afternoon, and then suddenly it was like, oh, I need to go lay down. And I didn't sleep super well last night. Chihuahua Power G is home. She got home yesterday. Uh, last night, she had a very long flight home. Uh, they arranged a trip for her. The, the Since we booked our flights initially through the cruise line, they were very good about making sure that she was able to get home. But the goal of getting her home from a uh, U.S. city to avoid customs nonsense and Canadian COVID nonsense um, <clears throat> although she was tested negative, so she would have been at that, the, the point at which she, she exited, uh, she would have been okay. Canadian custom or COVID anyway, I think. So regardless, um, so she flew home from Juno and, but had like three stops on the way made for a very long flight but she finally got home and and is home now so I'm very happy about that oh interesting okay I didn't mean to go through all this while with you on camera but such is life and uh, It's definitely a good thing not to grow these right next to these walkways because these blocks, um, the the stems and wart will replace some blocks. They'll replace like air, uh, but they won't replace the things like stone. So if it comes across one of those blocks, these deep slate you know, whatever deep slate or whatever these are made out of, or the torches that I've got up on top of them, all that, it will not replace those. So those are missed opportunities for more stems and fungus, or the wart blocks. So, 24 more. So I've got, you know, a few of these built up. Um, and I said, we're three and a half stacks of those. And then we can get these, blop, blop, blop. And then, <clears throat> and I've been running through this bone meal that I have here that I brought with me from the skeleton farm. But I think I can start using this stuff, right? Um, and then, so I just press this here. This is not super efficient. It goes across about halfway, um, a little bit more. And then stops. And then I can either just manually back in and go through and knock all this stuff out. I'm thinking about putting in more dispensers along here with something to block it here so it doesn't turn into it like a infinite water source. But to to block basically Push it from the sides as well. Let's see why that wouldn't be appropriate. 
I just again have to make sure it doesn't turn into a huge infinite water source. But see if I come along here and just bang a bunch of these. Look at all those fungus. And if I did a checkerboard of crimson and warped nylium, then I could grow both of the fungus at the same time. I could bone meal this guy. So this one really shouldn't, I shouldn't be doing that one right there where it's so close to it, but, um, ow. But look, three together. See, he didn't add too much to it, but I'll get more of the, the stems out of it, the warp stems. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, uh, hit you. Here, I'll, I'll give you a friend. Yeah, see. Oh, uh, you know what? Screw it. Roll them all. There we go. Okay. So I've got my little, little crazy jungle here. A warped nylium fungus. There we go. Okay. I think that's it for now. Yeah, see, it does use some bone meal. So, um, but it's a, it's a good source. So I think a stack of the, uh, a stack of the work block pretty reliably turns into about eight bone meal or almost a block. So that's one way, one way of measuring it. Oh, I picked up some more. Okay. Now, as I said, I've got other plans and let's work on those next. All right, well, thank you for watching. That went on a little longer than I expected. Uh, so I think we'll end that there. As I said, I have other plans, so let's work on that next. Thanks for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.